हेलो किड्स आई एम राकेश सुथार योर इंग्लिश टीचर आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन ए पी एस ई क्लासेस चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द लॉस्ट चाइल्ड लेसन फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन्थ सप्लीमेंट्री बुक दिस लेसन इज बीइंग कंपोज बाय मुलकराज आनंद लेट्स बिगिन दिस लेसन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ऑथर Mulkraj Anand was an Indian writer in English. He was notable for his depiction of the lives of suppressed and deprived sections in the traditional Indian society. He was born on December 12, 1905 and he died on September 28, 2004. Anand was one of the pioneers of Indo-Anglian fiction. he together with r k narayan and raja rao was one of the trio of the indian english novelists anand's novels and short stories are noted for their perceptive insight into the lives of the oppressed classes he also received padma bhushan for his works his famous works includes he wrote some novels and autobiographies some novels untouchable kuli two leaves and a bud the village across the black waters etc some biographies which he wrote are seven summers morning face conversations in bloomsbury pilpali sahib these were his works now we will begin with the lesson the lost child is the story of a small child who gets lost in a fair and had gone with his parents to the fair about but loses them when he gets engrossed in looking at a roundabout swing the story highlights the bond of love and affection that the child shares with his parents before losing them he had been demanding different things like sweets balloons flowers swings etc once he loses them he is picked up by a stranger the stranger tries to quieten the child by offering him all these things that he had demanded for his parents but the child does not want them any more he wants his parents so let's begin this story the lost child first of all let's talk about the day of fair it is the spring festival and the main attraction is the village fair a massive crowd has gathered to partake in the festivities there are people from different walks of life they have colorful and diverse appearances some are brightly dressed while some are ordinarily clad the crowd is thronging out of the town and moving toward the village fair the protagonist a young boy is also there accompanied by his parents he wanders about the pleasantries on offer and is particularly interested in the toys sitting beautifully in the fair stalls and shops he yearns to play with them but his desire to desire dismissed by his father his mother offers a warm and tender reply and asks him to look at the beautiful setting instead the yellow fields being hard broken with unfulfilled desires he looks at the massive expanse of mustard fields in front of him he is overcome with delight and joy after taking such a beautiful sight the fields are decorated with yellow flowers that are dotting the landscape with pristine natural beauty 
the little boy's innocence is reflected by the fact that on watching such beauty he forgets the pain of his dashed hopes of a joy and toy he finds amusement in mother nature's ample bosom unperturbed by the remains of his desires he is gripped with childlike mischief he enters the fields and rummages through the flower he finds purpose and gratification in chasing his new pursuit the colorful butterflies and dragonflies to him they represent a greater catch than any toy at the fair the mother is aware of his love affair with the butterflies and asks him not to wander far off and away the motherly care adds more beauty to the context of the beauty of the scene the boy returns to his parents and accompanies them on the sidewalk however his attention again flirts with new pursuits little worms and insects he swings and chases after them the mother again warns him about not running off far the parents decide to rest near a well in a grove and sit on its edge they were provided shade by a hummingbird's banyan tree it was vast in tots spread and its branches dominated over other smaller trees like gulmohar etc the child unaware of their whereabouts loses his way this time and reached the fair instead he is oblivious to the fact that his parents had decided to stop for some rests lost in the distractions in the midst of the fair his attention is fixed on the sweet meat seller who is exhorting customers to enjoy the sugary delight of his sweet meats the boy begins slavering for his favorite burfi he is aware that his desire and limits his confessions to a faint whisper and moves on then he sees a flower vendor and a balloon seller he shows a great understanding of his circumstance and does not linger too long at any of his desired allurements now he meets a snake charmer the man has a flute and a snake he is seized with the desire to seek the thrill of a man controlling the dangerous reptile but he remembers his unfortunate limitations the child reaches a roundabout he can see it wearing around and round he can see it wearing round and round there are plenty of men women and children having the time of their lives riding on it his nerve breaks at his attraction and he turns around to plead his parents to allow him to enjoy the ride once to his utter dismay and horror he does not find them there he is all alone and deserted in a crowd of strangers down of reality down of reality in his fearful astonishment he runs all over hunting for his parents tears trickle down on his face his turban is undone and his clothes are drenched in dust and sweat his desperate attempts to relocate his parents find no sympathy in a crowd of strangers which is consumed in self indulgence frolics and merry making he gets tired rests and dries his tears only to start running again he keeps yelling for his mother and father in the hope that they may hear his mournful cries a sympathetic stranger he reaches a temple but the huge crowd at the door knocks him off his feet lying on the ground he is almost 
trampled over by the crowd of devotees when someone helps him to his feet. The man is sympathetic to the boy's plight and enquires about his situation and family. The child is overcome with grief and emotions and cannot stop wailing. The only word he can muster are that explains his desire for his parents. The sympathetic man comforts the child and tries to console him. He offers him a ride on the roundabout to distract him as well. However, the child is grief-stricken and unable to control his tear and painful cries. The man tries to distract him again by taking him to the snake charmer. The child refuses this offer as well. The man offers to buy him balloons but to no avail. At last, he offers him some sweetmeats including the buffy but even this noble attempt failed to soothe the heart of the lost child. The child continued sobbing, writhing in anguish and screaming for a glimpse and reunion with his mother and father. There are some key thoughts that may help about this lesson to you. The novel, The Lost Child, beautifully explores the imaginative and curious mind of a child. It narrates how the wonders of the world and their beauty captivate a child's fancy. The innocence of a child is exhibited in a soft manner. He overcomes the pain of his unfulfilled dreams and finds beauty in the simple things like the bounties of Mother Nature. The child relishes the fluttering of the winged creature like butterflies and is overjoyed to see the delightful beauty of flowers petals. The child's mind does not burden itself with the irrecoverable past or unachievable future. Let's summarize this lesson. It was the season of spring. The people of the village came out of their houses in colorful attire and walked towards the fair. A child along with his parents was going to the fair and was very excited and happy. He was attracted to the stalls of toys and sweets. Though his father got angry but his mother pacified him and diverted his attention towards other things. The child moved forward but once again lagged behind because his eyes were caught by one thing or the other every now and then. As they moved forward, the child wanted the various things on the stalls. His mouth watered seeing sweets decorated with gold and silver leaves. He wanted his favorite burfi but knowing that his father would refuse on the ground that he was greedy. He walked ahead, then he saw beautiful garlands of Gulmohar but didn't ask for it, then he saw balloons but he knew very well that his parents would deny due to the fact that he was too old to play with balloons, so he walked away. Then he saw a snake charmer and a roundabout swing. As he stopped to ask his parents for permission to enjoy the swing, to his astonishment, there was no reply. Neither his father nor his mother was there. Now the child realized that he was lost. He ran here and there but could not find them. The place was overcrowded. He got terrified but suddenly a kind-hearted man took him up in his arms and consoled the bitterly weeping child. He asked if he would like to have a ride, joy ride, but the child sobbed, I want my father, I want my mother. The man offered him sweets, balloons and garland, but the child kept sobbing, I want my father, I want my mother. This was the lesson, the lost child. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. For your help, I have added some word meanings in this slide. I hope you will find it helpful. Thank you.